guys, today is June the 30th, 2015, and I'm going to also show you the manual that is designed uh, to um, go onto a longer cycle, hotter water, whatever, uh, if you don't have the rinse aid in there. Put it down to the side and put your, put your silverware in however, or you can work with these and try to sit your... That is what you hook this to. When you lift this up, and if you try to maneuver it, you know, and set it down, it helps to put the pull forward towards yourself, you know, and, and, and get these on this bar. Or they're pushed all the way back. This one here, especially the top, you have to give it a little extra push because there's, there's uh, something it fits into in the back. And if you don't take and seat these back against the back, so they recommend do not take and use the door to push. If you open the door and let that steam out and let your um, dishes air dry. That's no detergent or anything around this part here. And you push this forward, and I covered this before. You push it forward, but it's not enough to push it forward. You push it forward, but then you also want to push down to help hold the cup, smaller cups. But I, I find them to be nothing more than a nuisance. And another thing that I find to be a nuisance is, the way the dishwashers are now, instead of having a nice flat area to work with, there's all of these nooks and crannies. And See how you just use a little force and lean it, snap it back in place, and this one will lay down. To etching of your glassware if you use too much detergent. But see, you you don't have much water to work with. And what I ended up doing, I used um, three tablespoons of the uh, powdered detergent in the little uh, compartment, and ma that makes it three tablespoons makes it full. Well. That was too much. It just looks like little cuts in my glassware. Do is here is the recommended um, one tablespoon to 1.75, which would be approximately half of the dispenser. I don't use rinse aid, so I don't really have to worry about it. You want to reset your rinse aid where if you want more or less. Uh, they're showing you here uh, what to do. So here is your buttons A and B and C is what they're talking about. Normal Express and Rinse is what they're talking about here um, when they're saying your A and your C buttons how you want to um, you know this explains how to reset the which cycles you use, which I only use the express cycle, which is a 30 minute. And I, like I say, I don't worry about uh, how wet the dishes are, that. And I don't do the sanitize and all this and that. Here is where it's showing your A, B, C button. See, the normal express and rinse. You uh, change the settings. Okay, so here is where your wash cycle information is. And this gives you an idea of just what little morsel of water is used. Because see, everything is water saving now. Pretty soon we won't, they'll just give you a, a little mist of water in your dishwasher and that's all you'll have. Um, so uh, it's saying how many minutes for heavy duty and you can just pause this and hopefully this will show up uh, my express is 30 minutes, um, and it's saying here that 2.8 gallons of water. Stainless steel appliances to prevent corrosion do not use sponges, filters, and spray arms. So I have never taken this out. And see, this dishwasher doesn't have a grinder uh, because before there was a grinder thing where if there was extra little tidbits of food, it would be ground up and it would go down the drain. Well, this doesn't have that. Your own work, you have to take this apart, 
which I have not done because I have the um, spray arm. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this like so, and um, you can read that. And then I'm gonna move on down in case you can't find your book. And there's your spray arms. How uh, how you um, take them apart? Take a cup of vinegar and set it up here on the top rack then you start your dishwasher and you can hear that draining you have to uh, let it do the draining uh, first and um, then is when I'm sorry then is when you put the vinegar in you know you stop it put the vinegar in uh, because you wanted to, to do that draining first so I'm sorry this is so long and I'm sure nobody's going to want to watch it, but that's okay. I just feel like I owe it to you guys. Okay, when you put this back, you want to make sure these are lined up, okay? I was turning it the wrong way because you got to go clock, uh, counterclockwise. And I was looking at this and was trying to go the other way. I was looking at the arrow that's going clockwise. So you want to twist it counterclockwise. And then this lifts out, so you you see what um, whenever it sucks water out here. Remove any residue and clean filters under running water. Um, so when so when it says remove any residue and clean filter, reinstall filter system in reverse sequence and ensure that the arrow. Um, are facing each other after locking into place. So then also with the spray arm uh, you need to check it. I did find something. Okay so I'm just going to rinse this and put it back. it down in there. So now the next thing is these jobbies. Um, see there? I just happened to pull it off. Never tried to pull these off before. They look pretty good. So they just basically they just sit on there. Basically you just pull them off, snap back in. And with this, how easy it is. Pull them all the way out, lift up, Here's the other one. <laughs> it's right here. So it would be the same principle, I guess, with this one. Um, that it just pulls off, I would guess. Well, guess what? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. This here, it's got a little doomahickey down here there okay see here this you have to turn remember how you took it off so logic tells me the holes is this way so this the, see there's there's only one hole on the other side so I would have to assume that this is the way this goes on so I tell you guys, there. I then I turned it counterclockwise to put it on, uh, clockwise to take it off. Now, what do you think of those apples? Counterclockwise to put it on, to lock it back on. Okay. So you'll need to hit pause if you don't have your manual. It's talking about wastewater pump. Here's the holes in the back that you need to make sure that this top rack is seated uh, in there. And you want to make sure the racks are flush to the back of the dishwasher before you push the door shut.
when you push these buttons, there is a delay. And it is kind of weird and frustrating because when you push the button, you think it should come on right away. But you push it, you want to make sure that your uh, fingers are dry. You want to make sure there's no grease on them. You want to make sure that this area is clean and dry. And, and like with, when you wipe this area off, uh, you want to make sure then you dry this area also. So you, uh, in order to, uh, what I'm going to cover now is the uh, rinse aid. Uh, and like I've said, I use water instead of the rinse aid. But what happens is when you run out of rinse aid, then it will change. Like you could put express in here, but it'll ignore that and it'll put in another cycle. So uh, that's what I was having trouble with. I couldn't figure out why I was uh, setting this for 30 uh, minutes and in an hour would be showing up over here on the cycle status. So what you want to do is when you... When you want to reset it, uh, what I do, you either use the rinse aid or the water in order to uh, reset it. It is two, is two ways of doing it. And there is a delay when you push these buttons. So you want to make sure your hands, like I say, is dry and not greasy. So then you push and you wait. And it decides if it wants to go ahead. See there, it took it took a while, a, a push in that time. So now, it has two minutes. It's got an auto cycle that's flashing two minutes. So let's just say that I want to change that. So I go over here, and here's the reset uh, button, and you hold this for three seconds. So then you go back over here and you push the off button. Well, I'm going to open the door and shut it and then push the off button. There it worked. So now when I go to push this, you know, it will, I, I just will push the express. Uh, so that's how you do the three set. And, and then, like I say, I opened the door to get it to, um, to clear. On each side here, there is these little jobbies. And if you want to go down, I've got it all the way up in the up position right now. If you want to go down, you push in and drop it down. And also, another thing, you want it to be all the way, pulled all the way out to the end of the track. Push in and you work it down once you um, unlock this, uh, these jobbies, okay? So there, it's down. So now, in order to pull it up, just make sure that it's all the way out the end of the track and then you just pull up. And here's another little tricky thing. You have to jiggle work with it because one side one side, my, and the best thing is not have any dishes in here. Uh, basically, like I say, you just pull up and jiggle it and work with it in order to uh, get the rack pulled. Um, is you press and hold the start button for approximately three seconds until the display reads um, 0 0.01. Wait about one minute while the dishwasher drains. And open the door and press the on off button. When you do the vinegar in order to descale it, you want to use the heavy duty cycle uh, and you um, want to wait the one minute till the dishwasher drains. Then you open the door and you put in your one cup of vinegar on the top rack. And that okay, here's the heavy duty uh, cycle that you need to descale it with the vinegar on the top rack. And see, it uses more water, 4.9 to 6.10 gallons is what you need. Uh, and you have the higher temperature, 150, 160. There at the base of it, that um, where there used to be a, um, a um, grinder.